Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Wednesday, May 7th, 7.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. Here is the preliminary tornado report for the year through May 5th, and it has been a record season so far. All the details coming up. Keep calm. It's boom time. Severe weather could impact tornadoes as serious flood threat develops from Texas to the lower Mississippi Valley. We're talking significant flash flood threats and a few tornadoes into midweek. Damage reported in Louisiana after possible tornado amid dangerous severe weather and flash flood threat. Damage was reported in Jefferson Parish, Louisiana on Wednesday morning. After Councilman at Large Scott Walker said a possible tornado tore across the region. It, in fact, has been the worst tornado season since 2011. Two states top the list. Let's take a look at the stats. Here are the preliminary reports through May 5th. Red is 2025, and the blue line is the historical average. So at this time, we should be at 519, and the average, we're at 724. Quite a bit higher than the average. And most of them centered in two states here, 82 in Illinois, 96 in Mississippi. And a close second, we've got uh, Missouri with 78 and Texas with 74 there. So those are the statistics through May 5th. And that is for a total of 710 tornado reports so far. Snowfall analysis from the last 72 hours shows that western storm, which has now come to an end, and the snowfall it left in the higher elevations. Big winter here, southern Colorado, northern New Mexico, picking up up to three feet of the global warming goodness. And a live look at Tornado HQ. Not a lot of active pattern anywhere in the U.S. We've got some light precipitation throughout the center of the U.S. No severe weather really happening there. And in the south here, some rainstorms moving offshore here uh, in northern Florida. And here is the full forecast. Heavy rain and flooding along the central Gulf Coast. You can see those warnings and watches out in the green. Isolated severe storms and widespread showers will continue to produce heavy to excessive rainfall and flash flooding threat over portions of the central Gulf Coast. Widespread storms will bring some locally heavy rainfall and possible isolated flash flooding across the central plains into the Tennessee Valley. So let's look at the GFS model and see what that forecast looks like. Three, six, nine hours from now, not really an active pattern. Uh, through the end of the week, we're going to see some rain on the East Coast, maybe some moderate severe weather. It is not until early next week that the severe weather looks to be popping up there across Florida. And then another system moving into the west there, bringing snow to the high elevation, it looks like, of Montana and Idaho there. So let's take a look at the total snowfall for the period. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. We're going to have a little bit more snow down here over the next few days. Uh, and then that next system moves in early next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So more snow coming for the West. It's not over, kids. Seismic update. Pretty moderate day of seismicity worldwide. Looks basically normal activity. 5.0 on the Mid-Ocean Ridge here, most recent quake. We've got a 3.0 in Caliente, Nevada. How do you like that? Worldwide Volcano News. The first volcano on the list today is Marapi to 12,000 feet. Raventador, 15,000 foot blast. White Island, weak, low level eruption. You can see the plume moving off there. Poas, 10,000 feet. And we have another lava fountaining episode. The 20th lava fountaining episode happened uh, in the last 24 hours. We live streamed it over on Rumble. And it's fantastic, so we'll leave you the link below if you want to go watch that live stream. Uh, let me blow this up. Absolutely spectacular lava fountaining event has come to an end. And if you want to go watch some of that footage, it's on Oppenheimer Ranch Project over on Rumble. Fuego to 16,000 feet, Poas to 10,000 feet, Sun Gay to 24,000, Santa Guito to 14,000, Semeru to 15,000, 
Ducono to 8,000. Ibu, 7,000 foot puff there. Raventador, frequent volcanic ash. The end of the 20th lava fountaining episode. As I said, uh, Poe Ass on the list. Ibu on the list to 7,000 feet. Sangay to 20,000. Simadu, who knew? Now you do. 15,000 foot blast there. Raventador, 16,000 foot. Wrapping up the list is Ibu with a 7,000 foot puff. And check out the Kilauea footage. Quick look at space weather. Those sunspots that are facing us uh, and now moving away are, well, not doing much of anything. Low-level sea flaring. Three-day geomagnetic forecast all quiet till May 9th when this coronal hole plasma stream may kick us up into G1, geomagnetic storm. Bad news. An old Soviet Venus lander is falling to Earth. And this is no ordinary space junk crash. Uh, and here's why. It is a Venus lander. I don't know if you know anything about Venus, but it's really hot. And it's designed not to melt. So this is not going to melt when it re-enters like most objects. And this is going to hit the ground. And they don't know where yet or even any possibility except between 52 degrees north and 52 degrees south. Um, and that is most of the Earth. Because most of the Earth is uh, ocean, it may hit the ocean, but it's, it could hit anywhere, uh, and it's falling soon. When is reentry? Around May 10th, so just a few days. Um, as they know the trajectory more and the date gets closer, we'll have a better idea where it's going to hit. So stay tuned for updates. And records have been shattered. Scientists extract 1.2 million year old climate record from Antarctic ice. If you watch our science show, Magnetic Reversal News, or our radio show, same thing. Lee and I have been talking about this. There is a new section of ice that they found in Antarctica that goes back to 1.2 million years. Holy macaroni. And they're working on what that means for the climate record right now. And if you didn't know, we've got an amazing interview coming up in just a moment, few moments on this channel. Michael Button, uh, he is into ancient civilizations. He has a degree in that, ancient history. And the question that we pose is, what if we're not the first human civilization? And it's a great show, so tune in and buckle up for Michael Button. And that's a Michael Button boom to knowledge. Please share the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, do all those YouTube things, and be safe. We love you. If all of you watching just hit the subscribe, we would hit 100,000 subscribers in no time. Half the people listening are not subscribed to the channel, but we still love you. Just hit that button.